we know what you want. Healthy, natural food that still tastes great. And we're here to tell you, it doesn't exist. Healthy food is for suckers. It tastes like garbage, and if you say you like it, you're a chump and a liar. Be honest. This is what you want to eat. When you look at the feedstock that goes to feed the cattle, growing the lettuce, growing the wheat that gets transformed into the bun, and milking the cattle, processing the milk into cheese, processing the cattle into beef, trucking all that stuff around, keeping it cold. It turns out each burger has a pretty significant carbon footprint of its own. It's time to confront a major threat to our global environment. Cows. Yep. Cattle and ruminants of all kinds produce methane as a byproduct of breaking down grass and other things that they feed on. Methane has 21 times more climate changing power than CO2. In America, cows produce more greenhouse gas than 22 million cars per year. A cow can basically fill up a 55 gallon garbage bag full of methane every day. One cow is not a problem, but now we have 1.5 billion of them. From the end of World War II to the mid 1970s, beef consumption per person doubled. The U.S. is now the largest beef producer in the world. As demand for animal products has grown, animal agriculture has gobbled up more and more water, energy, crops, and land. That one quarter pound hamburger requires over 660 gallons of water to produce. Here I've been taking these short showers trying to save water, and to find out just eating one hamburger is the equivalent of showering two entire months. We use about eight times as much land for feeding animals as for feeding humans. And in places like Brazil, acres of forest are still being cleared for livestock, which creates pollution and also removes a perfect sponge for absorbing carbon dioxide. Then we add pesticides. And those chemicals deplete the life of the soil. They take away the structure of the soil. They take away the water of the soil. They take away the very organisms that make for soil fertility. Every day you get sprayed with pesticide, it gotta make you sick in the long run. We Americans use about 17 billion pounds of nitrogen fertilizer to grow feed for our cows. When runoff from fertilizer and manure flow into rivers and then to the ocean, they create huge algae blooms, which suck the oxygen out of the water and leave dead zones where no life can survive. Slaughterhouses create about 30 million pounds of contaminants a year, mainly nitrates and ammonia used to disinfect meat. The consumer enjoys the fact that they can buy inexpensive chicken in the grocery store. Um, but what the consumer doesn't understand is there's so many hidden costs. Industrially produced food might seem cheap, but not when you factor in external costs like damage to the environment and human health. The family farm is, is not being supported or valued in the society. Um, it's how much food can you produce and how cheaply and that's not sustainable. It's not the cow's fault. It's a system we've created to mass produce beef. That's the problem. I want you to know that we can all make a difference by making different choices, by buying our food directly from local farmers or neighbors we know in real life. So next time you're at the grocery store, think local. Choose organic, know your farm, and know your food. Thank you. Yeah.